Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and I'm super glad to tell you that this divisibility skill is simpler than some of the other ones we've been looking at recently. So uh, question says find the prime factorization of 40. Once again we have some math vocabulary here you just can't get away with not knowing. You're not going to really know what to do unless you know what prime factorization means. And so prime factorization is expressing. So I'm going to write an expression instead of just finding a single number answer. Expressing my handwriting's bad, sorry. A number as a product what kind of an expression is it going to be? Well, a product is a multiplication expression. Okay, so it's going to be a product of its prime factors. So you might be a little mad at me, Kate. I hated finding primes and composites the other day. Those were long, boring videos that you made that were really hard. Okay. <laughs> Good news is it's way easier to find a prime factorization than it is to determine if a number is prime. Um, but, so let's give it a try. Let me show you. First of all, before I can express something as a product of its prime factors, I better find out what its prime factors are. Best tool for finding prime factors that I know is what we call a factor tree. And some students mix up when to use the factor rainbow and when to use the factor tree. I'm going to use the factor tree when I'm looking for prime factors. The tree, I feel, is a much easier way to go when you're only needing the prime factors anyway. So what a tree looks like is you start with the number itself and you put this little branching V under it and you ask yourself, what two numbers can multiply to make 40? And unlike with the factor rainbow or some other divisibility skills, you don't have to go in order. You don't have to test every possible factor. All you gotta do is come up with any two numbers that multiply to make 40? Well, I should make an exception to that rule. Any ones except one in 40. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to break this number down into smaller pieces. So one in 40 would not be useful. But any other fact, so I don't care which one you know, you could know two times 20. You could know eight times five. But even if you're a really challenged math student who struggles with their times tables, I bet you know that 40 is four times 10 because most of us at least know our 10 times tables. Okay, so again, you can start with any multiplication fact you want. The key here is just to keep going until you come to prime factors. So is four a prime? Of course it's not. It's an even number larger than two. I can break it down. Um, uh, it is still divisible by two. So two times what is four? Two times two is four. Now two is a prime number. I can't break it down any further. The only things it's divisible by are one and two. There's no way to break it down any further. Those are primes. I'm going to circle my primes. Not necessary. I'm just trying to keep track of them. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here to 10. 10 is not a prime number either. I can continue to break it down into smaller factors. 10 I know is the same as 2 times 5. Now we already said 2 is a prime number. I know 5 is a prime number um, because it's only divisible by 1 and 5. But if you watch my last few videos, I did ask you to memorize your first five prime numbers just because they come up so much. You wouldn't want to be testing them all the time. 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11 would be useful if you would know that those are the first five primes. So you can see whenever I came to a 2, I stopped. I came to a 5 and I stopped. You stop at primes when you're doing a factor tree. Okay, so it looks like the number 40, even though it's a big, large, robust number, is actually composed entirely out of twos and a five. And so how many twos is it composed of? Well, it's two times two times two times five. I broke this 40 down using division. I could put it back together using multiplication. This is what I mean by a product of its primes, okay? But do remember, 
that we can express repeated multiplication using exponents. So 2 times 2 times 2 is the same as saying 2 to the third power. And that would be multiplying by 5. 3 2's and a 5 all multiplying together would make 40. And so this is my prime factorization. Once again, a super, super useful skill that comes up in a lot of other kinds of problems. Turns out expressing a number as a product of its primes is a very useful math skill that comes up a lot. So if you have any questions about this, be sure to drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them.